Hey guys, we just have this very last page of notes of chapter 15 to do. Uh, should be a pretty short one. And the Ed puzzle over this is the one that I signed to do tomorrow. So if you haven't done that already, this might help you. Um, so we have this idea called the law of conservation of mass. And we've had a few laws of conservation already this year. And they all kind of have the same general idea, right? Something can't be created or destroyed. In this case, it's matter, right? So the amount of matter that you start with before a chemical reaction happens is the same amount of matter you have when you're done. Um, so when discussing chemical reactions, this means the mass of stuff you start with is the same as the mass of stuff you make and we have names that we use for the stuff we use versus the stuff we make so the stuff that we use in a reaction the stuff that enters a reaction we call the reactants and the stuff that we create are called products okay so we could say reactants react to produce products um, is one way we can try to remember I always think Reactants react to produce products um, makes sense. So this is our main idea, and this is a formula, but it's not going to, you know, this is just another way of writing this idea, right? The total mass of reactants, remember, total means you add them up. So if I add up the total mass of the reactants and I add up the total mass of the products, they're going to be the same, okay? So we have here, we don't have to really know what these are at all to be able to do the math here. So it says... Methane reacts with oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and water. So I read that sentence, and I think, okay, so what entered the reaction? What did I start with? And then what did I create? What did I produce? So I'm going to read it again. Methane reacts with oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and water. So it becomes pretty clear these two things are my reactants. Right, they're coming into the reaction, and it says producing carbon dioxide and water. These are going to be my products. Okay, so if I think about my equation here, I right? remember we said total always means add. So I'm going to add up the mass of the reactants, um, put that on the left side, and add up the mass of the products and put it on the right side. So it's how many grams of water are produced. If 24 grams of methane, so the 24 grams is the methane, we said methane is a reactant, so I'm going to put 24 grams over here, plus 96 grams of oxygen, oxygen was my other reactant, so I'm going to put that 96 grams right here, and 66 grams of carbon dioxide are produced, so carbon dioxide, we said it was a product, so I'm going to put the 66 grams of carbon dioxide right here, plus some I'm going to I'm going to put a question mark in instead of an x because I always think x is kind of looks like multiplication sign. So now we just have a really simple math equation. All right. So I have 24 plus 96 is 120. And then that still we didn't do anything to this side, so that's a 66 plus I don't know. Oops, that's a question mark, not a 2. Um and then so what I don't know is plus 66, so I'm going to subtract 66. And we end up with my question mark is 54 grams. So my answer would be 54 grams of water. Okay, so second example, kind of the same deal. I'm going to do the same thing where I circle the reactants and underline the products here. So it says sulfur dioxide, dioxide reacts with bromine and water to produce hydrogen bromide and sulfuric acid. Again, you don't really have to know what these are to interpret this sentence. So it says this reacts with this and this to produce. So I'm going to say this is a reactant, and this is a reactant, and this is a reactant. It says all three of these are reacting with each other. And then it says to produce. So these are the things we make. There's one, and there's one. So all the things I circled, I'm going to put their values on the left, 
and the things I produced, I'm going to put their stuff on the right. So 64.1, that should obviously be grams of sulfur dioxide, so I'm going to put that 64.1 grams here. Reacts with 159.9, that's a really bad day for me typing apparently, a bromine, so I'm going to add that, 159.9 grams, and an unknown amount of water. So that, this time the water, which is one of my reactants, is what I don't know. I don't know how much water reacted, okay, but it formed 161.9 grams of hydrogen bromide, so that one's underlined, so I'll put it on the right. And 98.1 grams of sulfuric acid. And then I'm ready. I have everything known in my equation here. So I'm going to add the 64.1 plus 159.9. And that's 224. And my question mark is still there. And then I'm going to add the 161.9 to the 98.1. Hopefully you're doing this as I am. And that's 260. Okay, so now here's my unknown. I'm trying to solve my for my unknown. My unknown is plus 224. So to get my unknown alone, I have to do the opposite. I'm going to subtract 224, subtract 224. So I have 260 minus 224, looks like 36 grams to me. So that's the law of conservation of mass, and that is the end of chapter 15. So if you look, I believe there's a review assignment to start doing. As always, if you have questions, please ask. Stay safe.